All right, we just came out of Final Fantasy Advent Children. Of course, yeah. That drop is pretty steep. Yeah. We're about to end our life stream. End our life stream. Let's baby. go. Japan time starts right now. <laughs> Here. Hello. He's still he's deafened. Locked. He's locked in. What, he's not. What deafened. are you saying right now? It says deafened. It literally he's on my smoked. screen. It says no. October deafened. Is he he's not, not deafened? What's going on, everybody? No, 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 no. Let's ask. Hey, show for you deafened. Hey, show for. Hey, show for you deafened right now, bro. I can't hear shit. Oh, true. My fault. Okay, yeah, Roger. Oh, keep going. You good? Okay, now I can see that he's not deafened, though, but it still said the little deafened symbol on my screen. What is going on, everybody? Rogers Base here, and welcome to the Japan Time Podcast for July 1st, 2024. I'm your host, Rogers Base, who you just heard, who is not deafened, is my co-host, Shofu. What's up, That's Shofu? That's me. I'm chilling and shit, shitting and chilling. You're chilling? Are you going to Evo <laughs> this year? Shitting and chilling? Uh, perhaps. You will be. You're coming to Evo. What the fuck is going on? Why do you on? keep threatening him? I'm not threatening. I'm just saying you're going to go to Evo. I wanted you what? to reveal it on the show today. That's all. I never said I was going. All right. Well, someone I know is going is McDareth. What's up, McDareth? How are hey, you, buddy? What's up, everybody? Uh, doing well. Excited for that. Uh, also, FF14. It's amazing. Been going nuts on that. Finished MSQ already. And um, working on extremes. Right on. Uh, someone who's always extreme is my guy, Coast. What's up, Coast? What the fuck does that mean? Hey, Nintendo! Nintendo <laughs> that's what I meant. That's why. Because you screamed that. So that's pretty extreme. How have you been liking Dawn Trail, buddy? How are you feeling, Coast? I can't. Uh, I'm not at liberty to say right now. Or else I'll oh, spoil okay. everyone right now. All right. Well, please don't spoil me. It was a how are you liking the game question. What spoiler do you have ready for that question? Well, because something he likes might be a spoiler, which I understand. I, he I, doesn't I, have, bro, you don't know how to give it. You, you don't have to, to tell how you like it. Yeah, no, I respect that. I, have to, but I get it. I understand. <laughs> I respect that. Yeah. What? Someone else I respect is Tito. Hell What's up, Tito? How are you, Tito? <laughs> uh, I'm all right. Uh, I am not going to Evo, but if I was, I would watch finals from my room. You're not on going to Evo. God, on God, I'm on glad. God, like, like it's just, it's just optimal. Wait, why aren't you going to Evo, Tito? Uh, I, you know why? I said it in the chat. Don't you want to meet her? Oh, because you bought the house. I forgot about that. What the fuck? Anyway, what's up? What's up, Wisdom Eel? Your guest this tell week. Tell this guy nothing, bro. <laughs> uh, Roger, Roger, a fucking op, bro. I'm really sick of Roger. I need new bro. friends. Uh, what's will. up, Wisdom? He's How he's are he's you? Welcome to the, the the main show. This is your first time on the Let's main show, isn't it? No, it's a second. Second? Yeah. Second. yeah. What? Wait, uh, what other episode were you on? Last week? You No, you brought him on before, Roger. The spoiler <laughs> cast. I remember the spoiler no, cast. No, you, but you more brought him on a made episode. Oh, that's right. Final that's Fantasy. right. Like, okay, just that's stay right. in. We'll Correct. join in. Well, yeah. Wisdom, you're awesome. We're happy to have you again, so welcome back. Thank you. I've been playing Final Fantasy for too much time. Someone who's not playing Final Fantasy is Zeph. How are you, Zeph? And me. Bring I'm, me back. Yeah. What, what are you doing instead? He's not uh, nothing. Nothing. You're not doing nothing. Nope. Shofu, I know you were doing something. What? What? What was I doing? Because I saw the title of your stream the other day was "On Her Knees," and That's it made me it think of Crank Yankers. That's not what his t title was. It was it worse. Was, than I was that. on my knees. <laughs> hey, Why were you yo! on your knees? What were you doing? I'm going. I'm trying, so sad. You're trying to get a bag. I was trying to get a bag, bro. My fault. Well, I made the title I was on my knees because me, Peso, and Scoot were out getting some coffee at a coffee shop where they make coffee Fantastic. and sell coffee. Nice. And What's this the guy coffee shop? Is it, is it, is it, is it Yo, chill, bro. Stop asking me about shit. 
<laughs> Stop it, bro. Because I don't know what you're going to say. So I don't know what I got to respond That's fair. To. Honestly, that's <laughs> fair. You're, you're better safe than sorry. That's good. Man, he don't, he don't say it, bro. <laughs> Roger Lee, shit. It really be Anyways, wrong. we was at this damn coffee shop, and this dude walked <laughs> up, and he stopped. and did a double take. He said, Shofu? And then he did another double take. Peso? And then he fell to his knees. There's no way. In the middle of the... <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> he fell to his knees in the middle of the damn plaza. And then Scoot tried to scoot away. No pun intended. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't, you can't say that. Scoot That's back. absolutely pun intended. His name is Scoot. That's why... I mean, I told the story on that stream. That's why I made the stream that I told you. Well, that makes sense. That's the second time that has happened this year. Your yeah, aura ain't never made a nigga hit their knees, bro. Your aura ain't never. Yo. Fucking yo, man. The only I'm gonna I'm gonna just say the only the only story one, I've heard of that happening to to a grown man is like with Michael Jackson. So <laughs> not literally I mean, at at Combo Breaker this year. There was someone that ran up right, and screamed just don't Damage Boys. Me, cool. No, I, I'm doing an intro. Wait, I'm literally doing a thing about combo breaker to pull you in here. Also, you're the gentleman. You're the you're the best person on the whole show. I want to save you for last. Fair enough. Anyway, I, I was at combo breaker with this gentleman, <laughs> hey, yo, Virum. Welcome, Virum. Welcome to the show. Good evening, everybody. I too have been playing some Final Fantasy fourteen. In fact, I'm That's playing right. right now. I'm having a good time. I'm playing right now as well. That's why my intro is all messed up. I can't juggle doing the intro because I didn't see that Shofu wasn't deafened while playing Final Fantasy. I can't do it the same way you guys do it. You're not locked in, bro. Yeah, no, I'm not locked in. He's not locked in. I'm about to lock in. Waves. Don't ask me for shit. If you watch my gameplay, though, you'd know that I was more locked into the show than I was the dungeon. That's cat. Yo, I found a Pokemon auto chest, too. That, I've been playing that shit, too. Shit legal. Oh, wait, actually, if yeah, it's the same one, I played I played that before, actually. If it, I think it's the same one, because that, that was actually really fun. A Pokemon yeah, it a thing? It's a, it's a Pokemon auto chest. TFT, but for Pokemon, that shit bootleg as hell. Oh. Speaking of, speaking of bootleg Pokemon, have any of you been playing the new Power World update? No. <laughs> I no, forgot Power World existed. Cause didn't, didn't it drop during the Xbox showcase? Wasn't yeah, that like a whole big thing? It on Thursday or something. I know, I know a couple people who are playing, and they said it's fun. But I'm not playing it. You're not playing it. That's why I, I mean, wanted to ask, though. I wasn't sure. Yeah, I would be playing it, actually, if I wasn't playing FF14. Yeah. That has been kind of the main thing. I mean, do we start by talking about FF14? Get it out of the way? Because I know Warchamp's not going to make it tonight. So I feel like this might be a good opportunity to talk about it. Like, obviously, for those of you who are listening to the show, Dawn Trail, which is the new expansion for Final Fantasy XIV, officially released in early access last week. Most of us are playing it in this call. Mm -hmm. uh, I am currently level 94. What are you, Vera? 93? Uh, I'm 94 on the MSQ, but my character, my class is 98. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then, McDareth, you already beat it. Yep. Coast is far into it. I'm beating the game right now. And Tito, have you already beaten it? No. Uh, I'm on... What level is my shit? Uh... My gun breaker is 96, but I am on the, uh, I don't know what, I don't, uh, I think this is a, this is a 95 quest. About halfway done. Gotcha. My, my, crop, well, how, my gather is a 90. How are you feeling about it so far? Cause obviously, you know, a lot of people have been talking about this as being sort of like the summer vacation expansion for uh, for Final Fantasy. I know we had a whole Final Fantasy and Walker spoiler cast last week. So if you guys want to hear our opinions on the whole uh, the whole Heidelin saga, you can listen to that on the spoiler cast if you're a member over on the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I mean, we went pretty in depth on that one, but I feel like- Real fast, that's not a members only uh -huh. video. Yes, it is. How about you shut your mouth so we get more members, McDareth? Yes, ah. it is a members only video. Yeah. Now, anyway, it's, it's a members only video. How about how about people just don't check and they become members and you stop losing us money? How about that? It's a members only video, right? No. It's 
Yes, it's members only, McDareth. I think it's members only if Roger wants to do He can I turn that shit to members, members only, only right now, yeah, actually. I mean, right. if, if you I do that, sure. Do that. But right now, Roger, it is not. So if you want to Ro do that. Okay, now I'm not, I'm not, hold on. Roger, do that and now no. he's opening up a new tab. Like, I hear him clicking. Like, he's opening up a new I'm tab not, right now. I'm not. I promise I'm not. Oh, yeah, okay, buddy. I actually couldn't if I wanted to because I'm currently logged out of YouTube because of all the hack stuff. So what? I literally am still locked out. I don't think yeah. I've met a person who has less access to their YouTube while being but I know, a full-time YouTuber worst. than you. It is quite literally the worst. It has been like, a horrible year and a half in there. terms of yeah. getting stuff locked out. But Jesus. yeah, so I, I can't change it. So actually, McDareth is safe and the audience is safe. I will not set that members only. But again, like overall <laughs> thoughts on Don Trail so far. Let I'm it loving it. I will. Uh, I will say right? real quick because I do because I. I don't know if you guys have heard this as a complaint, and this isn't even a spoiler because it it's very apparent immediately. It's so about it's to spoil not, y'all. Get out of there. It's not. It's not. Mm. Oh my god, you're about to get okay. spoiled. Holy fuck! All right. So what happens oh, is that boss. Amy shows up at the end of the new Sonic movie. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> she'll probably be in the Sonic she'll movie. To be fair, I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't even think she's at the end. Yeah, I just didn't think that's what he was gonna say. <laughs> you got You can't. You can't. You gotta leave. You gotta mix. Can't them, let bro. them. You can't let them ever know you next. Bro, you can't let them know what, what direction you go. Okay, but no, but for real. Um. That the biggest complaint, and I don't even know why people are complaining, but like immediately, as like in terms of like three hours in, was like, why aren't you the main character of the expansion? Why am I not the main character of the? Okay, shut up. I, like, that's a strange. Up. That's like a strange complaint because like have any, have you, you look at past you po you look at past expansions like you look at Heaven's Ward for instance yeah. yeah and a lot of that you're like following it's like about alphano that, like a, like a, a yeah the first half of that expansion it's like alphano's journey and you're just kind of there helping alphano alongside astinian and yuzael right and then a lot of the time like stormblood a lot of that is focused on lease it's not until i guess maybe like shadowbringers but even Bro, then, shadowbringers like... is a graha story for real yeah. Yeah. yeah no totally yeah did, you, did these people play the same game Bro, you are not the main character of Final Fantasy fourteen. You're not. You're you're, you're the, the ultimate hired muscle of yeah. Final Fantasy. Yeah, you're the main supporting character, is what you're, I would yeah, argue. Yeah, you're the guy. So it's for sure. It's just a weird. Okay, because to me, you are. Okay, compared, so I'm not the only compared one compared to. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I think that the take you're saying, where people are really upset about it, is weird. Because like even in even in this story, to me, you are still you're still the warrior of light. You're still like the big important person. You're helping sure. someone else. You always help other people. That's what your character does. But you're still that guy. Like, I don't know. It's just mm. weird to me that people are complaining about that. Because this doesn't feel that different than what they've done before. In terms of, like, your character in relation to other characters. See, because the big thing that I've been seeing is people complaining about, like, the stakes. Which I think is goofy. Because this is, like, meant to be the introductory first Correct. arc yep. of the whole yeah. next major story of the series so like of course it's going to be a little slower paced of I course say, the stakes aren't going to be super high yeah, those people I that like that have literally just haven't gotten to the point yeah, of the game yet they haven't played enough they played or they, they, played, played, they played the msq for like maybe eight hours and are like oh i'm just running around doing chores for people i'm where's the world ending conflict the calamity but yeah yeah just Okay, just wait. Well, no, okay, but even, the even thing that's also spoiler. wild to me is like run, the running around and doing chores thing. I felt that way more in Stormblood yeah. than I am currently. Yes. Like Storm this Blood feels moment. like it's just like a nice little relaxing pace. It like, doesn't was, feel like I was a little I'm not worried bored. this would end up being myself. Stormblood too. But even like the stuff with Wuklamot and helping her through that stuff, I feel like they built that up so much better than anything in Stormblood. So I care way yeah. more about 100%. what's going on. In yeah, hundred percent. I totally agree. Yeah. But even like, even if like, again, no spoilers, but even in the event, like the stakes are lower in general, like that's just good storytelling. Like you like, like that's just good overarching. Hey, you just basically stopped this nihilistic bird from destroying the galaxy. Okay. Now let's get back to really the thing with, and that's kind of the speech that Emmett gives at the end of Endwalker, which is like, Hey, the thing that you are really motivated by is exploring. Like you're really just mm. a wanderer. Like you really just like to go around and see shit. That's the whole point of and like there's so much you, you haven't seen yet. And there's so much you haven't seen yeah. on the place that you live. Like you don't know shit because you've been looking up when really you have you have to look around. 
Like, yeah. and so mm-hmm. like, like the whole thing of like, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's like, oh, okay, so all of you skip cutscene. That's <laughs> that's what that that okay, sure. Just say that. Say you can't read. So in, in the height, uh, <laughs> I, I, I it's like at the height, it's like with the thing that Emma said, and the two locations he said are more linked than you think, which is kind of funny. Uh, bro, he he spoils basically this whole expansion in that speech. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm about to be the real spoiler. Facts. I don't know. It's just it's a, it's a weird complaint that I don't necessarily agree with because it's dumb. There's some complaints that I understand. Yes. yes. But what are but, what are things that you're not really feeling right now? Then, just curiously. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. Like the beginning of the game is kind of slow. I'm, I won't argue that it is yeah. very slow to start. I agree. I agree. There's a section in the middle part of the expansion that I think is very bad as well. Um, I think that there's still an that. issue with. I th- also think there's still an issue with how they. Uh, design dungeons or just how the dungeon gameplay uh loop is what do you they've, mean by that? they've they've gone from like i've said it a bunch already they've gone from like the the uniqueness of arr dungeons to the the modern dungeons of two pull or- boss two pull boss Final boss. Oh, you mean like from a mechanical perspective? Like yeah. Actually running the like dungeon. literally not- gameplay loop yes. and st- sure, not, sure. Not d- like design wise, like how it, everything looks and all that. This is like the best. Expansion it's it's by really far. good. It's really by good. Think, far. Yeah, I do think the dungeons are slightly better than they were in N Walker, where there's a a little bit more variety. I mean, but the, I, which, which I is will funny because like most most of the dungeons are like that. There's some dungeons. Some of the later dungeons are not. They they mix up a little bit, but. But even if you I mean, look the one at the, I like, just did up on the mountain was fun. I I would say though the first dungeon of the game, the first dungeon in in Dawn Trail, I thought was phenomenal. I loved that, like starting on the boat and everything. Yeah, I really really liked that one. I thought it was a cool change of pace. I thought the music in it was really good. The I, actual bosses were fun. Yeah, yeah I but think the mechanics they, of the mechanics of actually like running like like the first trial is like. Unlike a real lost trial. trial. Like, that's a yeah. real trial. That, that oh, is, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. In yeah. any other expansion, that would be an extreme. Yes. Like, in literally, I, like, I in agree terms with of that just 100% mechanically. Like both the trials in the story. I see all like, three of the story trials. Yes, 100%. Like, it's, it's, and, and, and that's, and to me, that's where it impressed me the most, where I'm like, yo, I'm actually having to, like, learn mechanics. Here. Yeah, I feel the same thing. I've actually been having to not just, like, turn my brain off and let the healer do everything. Which would have a way to approach the game. <laughs> you're you're the problem. Let the, yeah, <laughs> let the healer do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> now I will say I, I will say as well. I, I as a as it's funny that you mentioned that coast about the game. I do think some of the mid bosses though in dungeons are actually kind of dog shit, like designed. Like I just did the the um, second dungeon. Uh no, I did the third the ninety five dungeon. Um, yeah, I did the ninety five dungeon versus the third dungeon. You could ch- you could check real quick. I th- uh, oh. we j- okay. We just I did this that dungeon. That was kind of cool. No, 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 we just did this dungeon, and on the first boss, it was me, my friend Mike, and Wisdom was in it. We were running it. I ran it for the first time. We ran it. They wiped at like forty percent, and I soloed it as a gun break. <laughs> like, like to I be sol- fair, I mean, like yeah. we'll. Gunbreaker is kind of sick in this patch, bro. It he, no, no, it's broken, but level also level one hundred like, Gunbreaker is fucking. But I'm not. Crazy. But I'm not level one hundred though. I know, but <laughs> you were you were ninety four. You're at the level where you've got your um, big mitigation upgrade. Yeah. I but the thing is, I didn't even need it. Like like if you like I literally like what you can ask wisdom. Like was like they were there. Yeah. I was literally just self sustaining off this boss with nothing but my one two three my regen and and hawk. I mean yeah. that was it. That was the, literally the sub bosses in the dungeons do seem a little easier. Like they're just not shit. <laughs> like I, I mean, the I, fact I was able to play some of them in the dungeon I just yeah, did Roger on stream, sucks. and I'm terrible. You're getting carried, but it's okay. But I mean, it's I very mean, the fun, fact though. that I can get carried, that I actually can like play yes. through, have yes. a good time, enjoy myself, I like it. I will say the music though is. Bumping, by the way. Oh, yeah, the music <laughs> is incredible in Dawn Trail. Oh, music is getting added to my playlist. Also, I, I will oh. say for the dungeon thing, uh, a lot of the later dungeons are, like, much harder. A, when you figure them out, they're not so bad, but especially first time not seeing it before, there's a lot of tells that they just, like, if you don't know it, you're just dying. It is what it is. 
I don't know, man. I don't, I, I I think I, I've only died once, and it was on the second trial. I haven't really been struggling. I died on the yeah. I died on the last you trial. Tank, right coast. That is too. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah you shouldn't tank. be dying on tank. Yeah, right. The whole point of tank is that you don't die. I died on the last trial, but that's because I didn't know things had knockback, and I was like, oh, okay, sure. But like, I do think that the best probably piece of gameplay content were, I low key, low key, are the duties. The duties Dude. are fire. Yeah. There's some really good fights. Yeah. Oh my god, the, the yeah, the the Jaja duty was so much fun. We've come so such a far away I from uh, Stormblood. Uh, also, there uh, is one duty in this game that should be a trial, but don't worry about that. Is it later? Uh, I haven't gotten You know what I'm talking about, Coast. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know what you're talking right. about. Yes. There's one duty in here that should have 100% been a trial. But it's fine. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Overall, though, I, I, I'm really liking it. I think visually, it's great. The music's great. Everything about it's good. Story's interesting I so far. I have to ask you something in the Discord chat because it's mega spoilery. And... Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, okay. I have so much I want to say to you, but I also can't say that it's spoiler. Well, I mean, we'll, I'm sure at some point yeah. we will do a spoiler cast I, for this once I, all of us have beaten it. So I... Uh... I don't know how it stacks up to me for the other expansions. I just know with the themes, the themes they that they basically they get to at the end, I really resonated with. So I really liked it. Cool. Yeah, well, again, stay tuned. There will be a Final Fantasy Dawn Trail spoiler cast coming for our members on YouTube in about a month and a half or yes, so. Yes, sir. That'll be Let's great. Go. Look forward to that. Once we've all beaten it, I'm sure we'll talk about it. But Something else that many of us are playing, and also most of us probably have not yet beaten yet, is the Elden Ring DLC. Who's playing Shadow it? of the Air Tree. I am. I am okay. loving it. Anyone else? Absolutely loving it. Is anybody else like, playing it? I've played like two hours. Where are you currently? Have you beaten uh, any of the major named bosses? I have not. I soloed uh, uh the the boss that unlocks it. Uh, not soloed. Uh, duo the boss that unlocks the DLC, and then I just wandered around. So, I, so. can I... Can I take away this opening bit of it then while we're talking about it? Because I want to address something. First off, it has been proven on the show today. I am bad at video games, right? Mm -hmm. I am not good at video games. I was carried through these Final Fantasy dungeons. I, I'm not like a gamer, right? I'm, I'm more of a casual. However, I platinum Elden Ring. Thoroughly enjoyed the base game of Elden Ring and very much look forward to this DLC. And then I saw so many people telling me this DLC is so unbelievably hard. It's so much harder than the main game. Complaining about it, demanding patches, all this other stuff. You all are weenies who are playing the game incorrectly. Weenies. I can safely say that because I, I am pretty sure I am close to the end of the DLC of Elden Ring. I got to the point where I feel like, without spoilers, it's the end. And so I've been sort of like clearing out the other bosses that are on the map to get strong enough to then eventually take on the final boss. I think people are complaining because they aren't playing the DLC the way you're supposed to play it, which is that you're supposed to explore. You're not supposed to rush in there with your level 150 character that's all maxed out to one-shot everything. You're supposed to go find the little shadow tree fragments. You're supposed to go find the little spirit ashes. You're supposed to level yourself up. And then you're supposed to naturally play your way through the game because I've been doing that and it's been a lot of fun. Now, have there been bosses that have been giving me issues? Absolutely. Did Mesmer kick my ass multiple times? Absolutely, he sure did. Did I have a hard time with the, the giant sunflower shadow tree monster that revives itself a bunch of times? Absolutely. But am I having a good time? Yes. The music, fantastic. The boss design, very, very good. I actually also like, without getting into spoilers, I like what they are doing fleshing out some of the lore of the original game. The thing that I just beat today, which I'm not going to spoil on the show here in case people don't want to know about it, but it's tied to one of the major endings from the first game. You finally get lore about this thing. You get to go through a whole legacy dungeon based around it. It's phenomenal. It's very, 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 very good. I highly recommend anybody... Who I see someone in the chat saying, so now Roger wants to spoil, doesn't want to spoil. Exactly. Now I don't want to spoil because it's something because, I care because about. Because it's something you if care about. If it's something that you yes. care about that yes. I don't care about, what do I care about? The spoilers? The both there we go. <laughs> then yes. I will say, of course. This is correct. This is, this is correct. Absolutely. It's not, it's, the world does not need to be kind to you. 
Absolutely. Now I will say. Also, now, shout out. The person who said that, by the way, was Jared Rodriguez. Shout out to Jared Rodriguez. I will. Long time I, will I do have a show. question though you know about, about this as someone who please ask away, played please. who played Elden Ring and just didn't like yes. it, not because of the difficulty, but just because okay. I don't like. So I, I talked about that. it. I talked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, my understanding of the difficulty of Souls games is that it's very similar to fighting games in terms of the skills that you need to get good at it, which are pattern recognition and muscle memory, yes. essentially. Yes. That's okay. why I like it, though, because I like fighting yes. games. Yes, So that's correct. why Souls games, yeah. Which is why a lot of people who are really good at fighting games really like Elden Ring, because it's basically, you're, you're basically just in the lab the whole time mm. with lore. Like I mean, uh, kind of. What I will say, there is another way, and I think that's why some people are upset at the DLC. The other way is you can just grind the shit out of the game. Just go and grind, and then you can be so strong that you can beat stuff because you'll you'll take less damage. Right, but, but that's not necessarily difficulty. That's, you can't, that's, that's, you that's, can't that's, in the DLC. Yes, yes. You can literally, you can grind and grind and grind and get your runes up or whatever and be like level 500, but the game scales to it scales your to main game thing. level. That, yeah, it scales right. to something that they put into the DLC that make you stronger within that. With a lot of people either didn't know or didn't realize they were going to do that but you also that's not something you can grind in the dlc that's something you yeah but you're to trash or to get it yeah that's what i mean that's what i mean it's like people yeah, yeah, yeah. people are, yeah. are assuming oh i grind all this up in the base game i'm gonna go over here and just beat all these bosses and you won't and right. so they're complaining. right no, yeah. i can't grind which is stupid they're complaining because the dlc is essentially a whole new game like that I, that seems silly to me like did they want to just run into it one shot the bosses and be done with it like it's a game. It's you're you're it's a, it's a forty dollar expansion. You should want to get your money's worth. Now I need to be done. In an, I need to be done under an okay. hour. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. My question was. I just wanted to make sure that I understood where the difficulty comes from, and then in terms of the framing of the difficulty. So, so the difficulty the comes from the boss patterns in Correct. this one. It's, there's yeah, it's one major thing. And muscle memory, there's, essentially. Yes. There's there's one major thing I have noticed as the resident person playing through Elden Ring right now, that I do understand the criticism for when it comes to the bosses. And that is this, specifically this DLC, has a lot of bosses that are huge and take up the majority of the screen. And I think what happens there is that you don't really even get the opportunity to learn the pattern because the monster will be so massive that he'll do something to you and then like one shot you. So like there's, an, there's a hippo boss that's a safe thing to say. There's a hippo boss at one point that completely wiped me because I didn't really even get the opportunity to do anything against it because he was massive, took up the whole screen and just opened his jaws and ate me. And then that was kind of it. And I couldn't really do anything and I couldn't really learn. Um, but I feel like once I was like, okay, I need to sort of level up my shadow tree fragments and I'll come back to this later on. Then it was totally fine. And I didn't really have an issue. I have two things to say about this DLC, even though I haven't played yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Number one, while watching people play it, I saw that a lot of, like, generic enemies were, like, extremely bulky and took a long time for people to kill. Yes. I don't know if that's because of it's a specific area or not, but, like... That's, that's because of the fragments. So, basically, the way the game works is that there are 20 levels of shadow tree fragments, which are essentially this thing, like the shadow tree fragments will boost your attack and defense and also lower the amount of damage that you're taking from the enemies that are on the field. But oh, it's, so it's only, different from like smithing stones yes, and stuff? Yes, so okay. it's a separate leveling system that's only for this DLC. So like all of your techniques, your weapons, everything carries over from the main game. But basically like, unless you are collecting shadow tree fragments, you're not really leveling like up. So yeah, you're just I thought it was so up. weird. Like I was watching yeah. someone just wail on an enemy for so long yeah, yeah, and it yeah. was like barely going down. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. Um and I and you don't have to collect all the shadow tree fragments. Again, like you don't have to do that. Yeah, that to be that'll even be like a challenge type thing for people. Yeah, for sure. But I think like the one of my buddies, Henry, he has already beaten it. And I think he beat the game at Shadow Tree Fragment level 15. Whereas like I Again, I'm not good at video games. And I'm like level 17, 18, and now feel like I could pretty handily take on the final boss. And I also feel like I could probably safely beat the DLC now with where I am at like 18. But I think I think it maxes at 20 and also it scales. So like the last couple levels, you're you're not getting as much attack and defense for what you're what like the fragments are that you're finding. And then in addition to that, the um the bosses, I feel like, 
are meant to be beaten around like 14, 15. So I, I'm sort of like over leveling myself on purpose because I know I'm bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but another thing. Yeah. People that were complaining about boss difficulty and like were playing it just by spamming roll, I feel have no grounds to complain. Yes. Yes. Especially because a lot of the bosses that are in the game this time around are not things you can just roll. I yeah. think like if you can get through the main game doing that, this one you have to learn. There are two in particular. There's one actually that's very early. This is like one of the first bosses, so I feel safe talking about this. There's one called Renala, and she basically teaches you with her first attack that you can't just roll. Because if you just roll, she's got this giant sword that moves horizontally and will basically one-shot you. So she's teaching you, you have to jump. Like, you have to use your jumps in, a diff in addition to your rolls to take her on. And, uh, and then also, like, her final technique that she uses where she drops down these giant moons on the field. You also have to jump to get away from that as well. So, I, again, I think, like, that's meant to be one of the first, like, bosses that you get in this DLC. So it's, again, teaching the player that, like, hey, you should maybe be using your jumps. And that if you're able to then beat that boss and you realize I can't just roll out of every situation, you'll totally be ready by the time you reach the, the later bosses in the DLC. But I love it. I really, I've been having a good time. At Elden Ring. I'm, I'm planning on beating it. And again, that's how I know y'all suck, because I don't suck at it. And if I don't suck at it, then you definitely suck. Because I suck. Hey, hey. what? <laughs> what? Hey. Huh? Roger, stay sucking. It's not even That's June right. anymore. I stay sucking. That's <laughs> I understood the second Shofu's you said that. that maybe uh, that's good. That's good. I'm safe. I'm safe. Shofu. Shofu's different for Elden Ring and Final Fantasy talks, so I think I'm good. Um, but yeah, otherwise, any other questions about the Elden Ring stuff that I could talk to you guys about? I don't think um, I don't what's the coolest else? weapon? Oh, coolest weapon is Renala's Twin Blades, which is, again, you get that from, like, the second boss that's in the DLC. Is that the fucking but, blood weapon that everyone is, is using that I see? No, the blood weapon is the katana, which I am also using, but I've been a blood samurai since the base game, so I've always been, like, using the blood weapons and the blood buildup. Um, I think there is another blood weapon, but I haven't been using it, really. Um, it's there's, it's oh, like there's a, a really... double-ended, like, saber or something. Or not a saber, but, like, it's like, um... Oh, 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 I know what you're talking about, and I'm not using that. Yes. Yeah, it's the like a twin blade side thing. Yes, yes. There are actually physical twin blades, though. These are like where one is fire and one is magic, and you get that from that second boss that I was talking about that basically teaches you that you have to jump. That is incredible. To the point where, like, I have been a blood samurai pretty much the entire time that I've played base game Elden Ring, and it made me swap out my weapon because I enjoy using it so much. Actually, real fast. Very, very good. Blades, I realized I didn't talk about this. Because in FF14, yeah. I am playing Viper, so I went back, leveled Viper all the way up. Oh, of course. I've been playing. That class is so much Todd, fun. You're a super crackhead then. Oh, yes. Yes. Huh? Indeed. McDareth is smoking crack over there, bro. Not again. And crack called Viper. That shit is amazing. <laughs> again. again? We don't Wait, talk about again. the first time. <laughs> I did. Right. He, just, he just kept on talking until you saw that. <laughs> right. No denial or nothing. That's just further proof. Yeah, Why do you like uh, Viper so much? Just curiously. Well, for thematically, it's already the thing that I like. I like dual wield swordsman, so it has that. But it is a very active job where, like monk, I felt like playing monk. You kind of get into a rhythm, and most things you get into a rhythm of how stuff goes, and you're very much understand. I know the more I play Viper, I'll figure out a rhythm. I'm kind of getting there, but it's way more active because as you're using abilities, you have off globals that tie into them. So. In this, I don't know if you even know this, Roger. So in the game, there's a GCD. So when you press a button, there's a cooldown before you can press another button, basically, right? Oh, I you do know that, actually. Warchap explained that to me. I yes. do actually understand that. So Viper has a lot of buttons. And when you press them, it activates two off-global buttons that you need to press in a certain sequence to get bonus damage. You're just doing that a lot. And you're looping through. They get to their, like, they build 50 meter wave really fast. So they get to their big combo, which is, like, button off-global, button off-global, button off-global. Like, so you're doing that kind of stuff a lot. And so, like, it's active. While you're doing fights and things, you're doing all this stuff. It's a very active job, so I have a lot of fun playing it. That sounds like hell to me. Having an active job sounds like the worst <clears throat> thing. 
It seems kind of boring. I don't to want me, that. to be honest. But I haven't actually played it. I, just I, I feel like what's, what's yeah, crazy I feel like is what, that it plays cooler than it looks. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem with it. Yes. How can it Whereas be boring, Picto, though, Picto actually, I, Picto was sick. And I love Picto so far. Yeah. I gotta learn how to play that class. I need to play. I need Picto, to play Picto. Picto. I haven't played Picto really because I'm basically waiting until every like I'm basically going to be using everybody doing their roulettes to level up my own. Like, because like, all my That's friends are what I do. Like, so, so because I because my main class is tank, so you have to kind of like adjust. So, like, I'm doing my roulettes as my healer <laughs> and basically saving all of my DPS for two weeks from now. Um, you can probably but, level up really quick though as a healer doing the roulettes. On, no, uh, no, it's not. Yeah, what's it I mean, bringing new expansion because you're rate, always just, needing new. Oh, oh, you know, it's, yeah, it's not. Even, it's not. It's at the same rate. Actually, the thing most often that I've been seeing like is tank. <laughs> Dude, you're not on the healer strike. What the hell, man? So yeah, what's, huh? what's funny and stupid? I'm not, that, I'm not part of the union, man. That shit starts Wait, what tomorrow. Is the heels, I do, I, I do, uh, I do, I do work. I do work like non-union work, so like it's good. You know what I mean? Wait, what is what is the heel strike? Oh God, can we not? Well, I, I, I genuinely wait. What is it? Uh, it's basically a bunch of all the healers complaining on online about how like the people make their job. Blah blah blah. blah who cares? And so like they they said <laughs> a bunch of people online were complaining how they're not going to play healer in the new expansion. They're going to be no healers. And then everyone's gonna have to do it. And then they started clearing out dungeons with like only. Then the DPS players started clearing out dungeons with only DPS and no healer to prove they didn't need healers. And it's just like everyone's over there sucking. Bunch Three of DPS and they're like a that's warrior. Or some so shit. Let, let me tell you the, the the later dungeons you need a healer. So like that strike is like kind of pointless because this expansion definitely deals with that. It's just there's no strike, man. Like oh yeah, it's not gonna happen. <clears throat> it's it's just silly. But you know, modern internet. So don't worry about it, Roger. You're good. Cool. Yeah, because I was like, I'm definitely going to need a healer. Because how don't am I going to get I got you. If you At the very least, Thank I got you. you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, any other games that you guys have been playing other than Final Fantasy and Elden Ring? I don't think so. Uh, I've been continuing playing Paper Mario. Uh, let's oh, go. how are you liking I'm... it? Where are you in it right now? Oh, it's, it's fantastic. I am almost finished. I'm up to the, uh, what's it called? The Shadow Castle. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, you yeah, are. I'm right done. near the end, um, I think. And it's, it's, yeah, it's been honestly excellent so far. There's not too much I can really fault the game on. It's just uh, it's a ton of fun. Just Who is your favorite great, partner now that great. you have everybody? Uh, favorite partner, gameplay wise, um, it's either the Yoshi or Bobbery. Overall, Correct. it's Gumbella because Gumbella just talks so much shit. Oh, yeah, Gumbella is great. <laughs> She's so funny. Have you been doing any of the side quests or any of the troubles? Yeah, I've done I've done all the troubles. Um, good. Yeah, those are a good time as well. So you uh, met the little Goomba that's uh, that's in the sewer that's looking for a girlfriend. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, there's a there's a fun little Easter egg for people who maybe haven't done that trouble yet. If you bring in Miss Moe's, he goes off on a rant about how she's a rat and he wouldn't want to date a rat, and she like slaps him, and it's really funny. So check oh, it out. I should have done that. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> He's like, bring me a Goomba, not a rat. <laughs> it's just the, the way the guy says it. It's it's great. The vaguely racist. Um, has there, by the way, has there, <laughs> is there any? Uh, is there a chapter in particular that stood out to you as your favorite? Ooh, honestly, like all of chapters three to six were really, really good. I think of those four in particular, um, six is the train, right? Yeah, six is the okay. train, the sort yes, of yes. almost murder mystery feeling. Yes, chapter. yes. Um, I think I would say overall my favorite was probably chapter four in uh, Creepy Steeple. Oh, yeah, of course. In Twilight Town, that chapter was really, really good. Um, yeah, I think, I think my only issue with the game really, and like I know it's nowhere near as bad as it was in the original, it's just kind of some of the backtracking stuff. But they've streamlined it a lot thanks to that that uh, one room in the uh, road. Yes, thank the goodness. Team. Well, also they added that creepy steeple warp pipe. I think we talked about that mm. on a previous episode. Zeph was mentioning it, but like that was a huge thing too because you would otherwise have to go all the way back to do that again, and it was not fun in the old game. It was a good way to level really early because you have to go through that forest again, and like in that forest they have the amazing daisies that give you like tons of experience. But yeah, um, it was it wasn't fun wasn't a good time so i'm glad they fixed that yeah overall very very excellent game it's aged very well and i can see why a lot of people hold it incredibly dearly absolutely 
Hi. Anybody else playing anything? Yeah, what's I'm here? playing you know? Monster Hunter now. Oh, me too, actually. Okay, we can have a little Monster Hunter now discussion. Uh, not much. It's uh, I mean, um, what level are you? Oh God, like twenty something. Oh, okay, so you, you're a baby then. Yeah, like Maybe I'm just like I'm just starting. Like. Maybe I need to try it out. I. It is uh, really fun. Well, I started because my friend was like, hey, because uh, he plays, and he was like, hey, they put Gunlance in the game. And I was like, oh. So, um, and Gunlance is very fun. Um, I'm going to be honest, and this might be the cra like, like, the, like the most like lazy thing I've said. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of APM for a mobile game for me. Like, it's just, like, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to, like, yeah, Perfect you have to actually Diablos. be active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, like, don't, you don't really like, have to, though. I think, like, I'm I'm level 98 in now, and I feel like it does get to a point where unless you're fighting, like, six-star, seven-star, eight-star monsters, you don't really have to think at all. Like, yeah, I, but the I thing play is, it is, when like, I'm I taking Obi I out for a while. I, play, I mean, even, like, when I'm at the gym, if I'm on the leg extensions or I'm doing, like, leg presses, I literally play while I'm doing that, and it's totally fine. Um, yeah, but I can't it, not. Like, the thing is, it's, like, it's not... It's it's too active for me to be absent minded because I I just mm. it's a personality thing like I I I'm gonna want to I'm gonna want to be optimal. Like the one thing that I will say that I actually think is quite nice is that they added a thing. This was not in the original version of the game, and then they added it with the expansion that added the gun lance. Um, you can now get paired with other people if there's no one else around you if you're doing one of those huntathons. Whereas before you had to be in this in the same vicinity as other oh, people. That's... Now it matches with people online and it makes it so much nicer. I kind of wish Pokemon Go had that. I also well, Pokemon Go kind of does with the remote raids. You just have to pay for it. Yeah, but like yeah, if you're but if you're Whereas not anywhere near Hunter, anything. Yeah, Monster Hunter, you don't have to pay for anything. You could just play it. One game I've been playing is, uh, but I haven't played since uh, fourteen is SMT uh, five. Oh, Vengeance or the yeah. base game? Uh, Vengeance. So how are you liking Vengeance? Tell us uh, what you uh. Did you play the base game? I I did play the base game. Okay, so you know I, the differences then. Yeah, I'm not that far in, but I am enjoying one not played it on the Switch. <laughs> it, I, I can appreciate the atmosphere a lot more. Sure. sure. And I'm just and I am enjoying the new route. I don't have much to say because I'm not that far in. Because as soon as I started to get into it, 14 came out. It is wild. This year is just packed with RPGs. I feel like from the very beginning of the year, we had Infinite Wealth. Yeah. We had Persona 3. We had Rebirth. <laughs> we had the Paper Mario remake. We have obviously Dawn Trail, though that's an MMORPG. It's you know a little bit different. You've got uh, Elden Ring DLC, which is kind of like an action RPG. I mean, there's just like nonstop. Obviously, Shin Megami. Yeah. I don't know if I can stuff. take any more RPGs. I know. I, I need a little bit of a breather. But we got more. Obviously, Mario and Luigi Brothership is coming out, so that's going to be another RPG. We've got... Um, what are some other major ones that are coming out? I think there's at least one or two other big RPGs there's coming out this year. There's uh, Expedition 33, that like French one that they showed off. That actually the Microsoft looks, one. I know we talked about that in the show a little bit. I, that does look pretty cool. Didn't Unicorn Overload also come out this year? Oh, yeah, Unicorn Overlord. Did, That's yeah. right. Yeah, strategy RPG, exactly. Oh, yeah, I need to play that. That game is also very good. I've, I'm have i at a point right now where I feel like I just need to actually not be playing anything else, though, to play it. Because it's uh, the portion of the game that I'm at like requires you to really pay attention and like, know what you're doing and have the right type of setups. And I'm just like not able to do that currently with Dawn Trail and Elden Ring. But I think once I finish one of those, I will probably go back and play Unicorn Overlord. I'm also kind of like far into the game. I'm in the region that's in the north with like all the mink people. So I feel like once once I finish something else in my backlog, I'll probably end up doing that. Anybody else playing anything? <laughs> Speaking of people <coughs> playing, there's not, there's not a lot of people playing King of Fighters at EVO. You feel me? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Wait, before we get to EVO talk, Shofu, you said Weathering Waves. How are you liking it? What's different about it what from is Genshin? That? Is it the Genshin killer? Talk about it. What Genshin is it? Kyo, don't put that on me. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it is it is it uh that whatever that company that makes the same game a bunch of times game uh fucking what? <laughs> yeah, yeah those guys. Guys. No, they didn't make this game they okay. didn't make weathering waves they did it's a it. copy of, it's damn no, near, to me it's a damn near copy of page. I, I, like every, I thought they made it that's how game. similar it was no, the ui didn't. is identical no 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 and Everything. it's like that's yeah, totally ripped off of it but i mean are you enjoying it 
I like the combat more than I like Genshin's combat, but that's about it. And I, I mash skip on the story. I don't give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm just there to fight. I don't care that's about nothing else. That's the thing I've heard in general about the game, that the combat is really good, and then nothing else is, like, that good. The music isn't particularly good. I got that I, shit turned I, off. I play my own music. I, I don't even know what yeah. I think the character models look decent or a little yeah, bit more Yeah, they look like Genshin character models. Yeah, Genshin, but slightly more detailed. But barely. I don't really, I don't, looks- I don't care to compare this shit to Genshin Impact. That's fine. But I cannot That's overstate fine. that that shit looks exactly like Genshin Impact. <laughs> is it, is it, it just looks from what I have seen, because I haven't had the chance What's to play What's the shit called? Let me Google this shit. Wuthering Waves. Wuthering, Wuthering Waves. Wuthering, not Weathering. Wuthering. Yeah, no, Wuthering. W-U-T-H. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, it's a you. That I'm um, disgusted. From the little bit that I've seen, it just looks a little more gray than Genshin. It looks like less yeah. saturated. A lot of gray. Which makes me say I don't want to play it. But I, I do want to give it a shot at least if the combat is good as somebody who does play Genshin. But also, because I play Genshin, I don't really want to dedicate myself to playing another game, especially with Zenless Zone Zero coming out next week, which is the nope, next Hoyo game, is which week. is also an action game. That is that's this week? Yes, it's the fourth. It's oh. The week. Have you played the beta of that at all, McDareth? No, I've seen it a little bit. I'll be real with you. Uh, I've tried a lot of new Hoyo games, and I kind of get burnt out on them. A lot. I mean, I played the two that everyone knows, uh, Honkai and Genshin. Yeah, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna try it. If I don't get the character I want, I'm probably just gonna just not play it. What's the <laughs> difference between like are these are like? I'm spend some bread, bro. What's the what's nah, what's I the know. what's the what's the gimmick of this one? Are this they like, so what like robots? Heard, what I've no no what I've heard of this one is like no. it's urban style. Yes, so kind of urban, kind of cyberpunk ish, but not like really. The, but urban, you're in a studio, like in a regular ass city with people. Like, right? like I would, I would describe it. I would describe it. Yeah, I would, I would describe it as like World Ends with You type aesthetic. Yeah, in terms of urban fantasy, so it's like headphones? it really does. <laughs> it's just like you're no. in a modern no. looking city with technology and fantasy yeah, aspects. Fantasy stuff, but modern stuff. Right. But not right. obviously not Earth. There's like animal creatures yeah. and stuff. Right. 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 So it's that, for what I've heard, I, I've looked at very little because I kind of just want to play and try. I've heard it has roguelike elements, which has me interested. And the combat That's is cool. much more active. It's more like a character action game with multiple characters you can switch between as you're fighting. That's basically how it is. Which is probably not Is it best. only coming out on PS5? Uh, it's on for PC. now, I think it's on PC though, for sure. Oh, yeah. because every time I like seen advertisements from it, it's only said PS5 for some reason. That's because Hoyo's it's... got this like really close relationship with Sony, yeah, where like Sony if... sponsoring those ads. Yeah, so like it's even if you play Genshin game, or right? you play Honkai, it's another gotcha game. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I don't give a shit then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Viram's correct. That is also kind of where I am with it, where it's like I- I'm interested to try it. But I don't see a world in which it's going to, like, push me away from either Genshin or from Honkai. Because I think of of all of them, currently, my favorite is Honkai. Yeah, I, I think, think Star Rail, nice. like, yeah. Star right. Rail, the There's got to be a really big weird. ass, like, big titty fucking girl for me to pl- play that shit, bro. What the <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, Star is. Rail, dude, Star Rail's <laughs> got <laughs> tons of What are you talking about? What do you mean? I need to play if more I play Star that Rail. shit and I roll my characters and I get like a fucking twink. I'm out, bro. <laughs> he trying to get bro, Star Rail. They he have Star right. Rail's got yes, Black sir. Star like, Rail's got Acheron. Star Rail's got a lot of them. You're trying to roll like, them The Star though. Rail thing for me is kind of weird because I think as a game, Star Rail is definitely much better than Genshin. It's much more enjoyable to play that game and do dailies. Genshin having to run around I the agree. map to pick up stuff is a pain in the ass. Having, dude, auto battle with Acheron in simulated universe is actually genuinely yes. fun. It's so like I act because I hate it. Remember we talked about this on the show. I hated simulated universe. And then I got Acheron and I, like my characters got stronger and now I love mm. it. It's like my little thing I do every morning. It's so much fun. Yeah, I'll, I need right, to play more Honkai. Like. My, my thing with Honkai that kind of burnt me on it is I started the game and I got Seela and Branya who were like two of the best characters in the game. So I just ordered yep. everything and I got kind of bored because <laughs> I just ended up with the best characters. But it's like, nice. I think the game. All right, Shofu, how, how many rolls are we buying? On what? On this, on 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 the on the. New oh, game, I ain't bro. spending a fucking wretched cent on none of these fucking gotcha <laughs> games ever again. Oh my, god. Oh my god. god! I'm free to play on all these motherfucking oh games. My god. Oh my god! Speaking speaking of spending, <laughs> like uh, uh Sonic, 
Real fast. Oh, um, uh, what? Real how fast. did you get to Sonic? Let me, let me finish. How did you get let to me, Sonic the Hedgehog? Let me, let me, Hell no. Fuck no. Let let me finish. Finish. How did you real even fast. get it? Fuck no. Real fast. A, a Sonic collab happened with the last Claudia, and Fidel streamed himself pulling, and I think he spent like 10k trying to get the 10K? characters. 10k? <laughs> On Sonic the Wait. Hedgehog? Huh? Show for your man, bro. 10K. Maybe, the, maybe I'm wrong with that. No man's a mob for 10K. No, 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 that's your man's, stuff. bro. You always uh, maybe no I'm wrong with that. No man's a mob for 10K. Are you always saying that shit? Is that your man's or not? I'm snapping his sunglasses in half right now. Oh, it was okay. I was wrong. People were saying, wait, wait, wait. People were saying, people were saying 1K. I was wrong. I was wrong. Bring that down. How did you get me if it wasn't so bad? What's going on? I saw him post. I saw him talk about 10K on Twitter, so I was like. That kind of seems kind of wild. It wouldn't, okay. it wouldn't surprise me if it was ten, though, because if it's a gotcha type thing with Sonic, and it's his audience, Fidel's audience—they're a bunch of demons. Like they would all just sub and give him a ton of money to do it. So it's not like he's actually spending his own money. So actually, I respect it because he's he's using his yeah. audience's money to then get really good characters. So, that's so because he's using his, his audience, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent, man. Roger, how, many, yeah, how many how many how uh, many applications do you have right now for unbanned requests? Uh, none. Oh, none really? Whatsoever. My unbanned all all requests already. are off, bro. Wow. And then when I when someone does get banned, they have to message me via Twitter if they really want to be unbanned that badly, and then they gotta do obviously the fifty dollar PayPal donation. You guys know the drill. Come on. That's how you can unban. And even then, if you donate, it's not guaranteeing that I'm gonna unban you. Obviously. You know if what, you did you know something what it, heinous and your you know, apology isn't good, even if you gave me the fifty dollars, I'm keeping your fifty dollars. That's right there in the TOS. I explain it to people. That hey, is Roger. Fine. Hey Roger, you know what else you know what else? You know who else is keeping fifty dollars? Everybody who enters the, at the evil. First, the guy the first <laughs> damn, it. damn it. Damn it. Nah, you leave KOF alone, bro. Exactly where MK1 going, is there to be grilled. Bro, how bro. did that shit fall off so fast? Bro, bro, no, 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 no. I was <laughs> going to say MK1. I was going to say, because I, I was going to, I didn't want to oh. go too crazy on K KOF. I was going to alternate, because MK1 to me is crazier. No, I this man, Peter Witch, boy. Peter Witch. no, 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 bro. Hey, show, bring this Wait. up, bro. Bring this up on the screen so we could, so people can see in case they haven't seen it. Uh, let, let, right. let, let's really, let's, 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 let's break this down real quick. The final, <laughs> the final Evo 2024 registration numbers have been released, and as as expected by everyone on Earth, Street Fighter handily in the lead with 52, 50, let's call it 5,300 entrance. Congratulations, you know Wait, what I'm saying? Did people think Street Fighter was not going to? No, no. Uh, uh, I mean, this is Tekken 8's first year, so people yeah. thought mm. Tekken would come out on top. Okay. Yeah, but it's it's not it's not super really shocking. Liked it, yeah, it's not shocking yeah. that Street Fighter's first, but Tekken being second, forty six hundred, still a great turnout. Shouts to them. Everyone else mm -hmm. is there also. That bottom three is no. Whoa, 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 whoa! Eunice is pretty. That's pretty good for Eunice, bro. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. That's Undernight's true. doing okay. good. That's not even Undernight's, Eunice. Though. That's not even. That's Undernight. Eight. But shouts to Undernight. Eight hundred. That's also, cool. yeah, that's so that also bottom I mean, one. Strike. That is the most amount of entrance for MK One at Evo. I'm pretty sure. That's... Yeah, this, this is its first Evo. <laughs> uh, I thought it was at the one before. No, that was a uh, um... game nah. cut. Didn't Apparently, though, according to the thing. according to the MK community, uh, those are good numbers because. <laughs> Apparently, MK one is is just all online now. Anyways, yeah, it's been not. Oh, oh. yeah. What does that mean? Meaning they, there are no actual in person lands for MK one that are being held on a regular basis at the moment. Oh my god, bro! It's like all <laughs> of the tournaments game are online. Fell off hard. Yeah. Like it's it is crazy, wild. crazy. It's honestly really, it's it's actually really kind of fascinating. Like, like this doesn't happen with fighting games where a fighting game sells as monumentally well yeah. as one like MK does and has no competitive following. That it, it makes sense to me though, because I do feel like <clears throat> the people who like Mortal Kombat, who aren't like hardcore competitive in a Mortal Kombat, just like it because of the visuals, right? They like it because of the gory kills <laughs> and like seeing guest characters or whatever. I don't think they necessarily like want to okay, go to some buddy. local. That was great. Yeah, that no, was but good. you have to understand, Mortal Kombat was still number three. It was the, it was up there. It was the like at previous was, Evos. It was Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat. Those were like the big three. Why would I? But why would I play Mortal Kombat one when I could play Street Fighter Six or Tekken or Guilty Gear or Grand Blue? Let's go. Or Street Fighter like, 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 let's, let's start there. Let's right, start there. Right, 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 very good point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Grand Blue. I was gonna say Grand Blue is looking impressive. It's got yeah, 1,300 people. Yeah, 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 talk your shit. We, re we really started from the bottom, bro. We, we made it all the way up. 
We're on Evo Sunday, boys. Yes, sir. And I don't even get to fucking commentate it. Oh, oh, wait, don't ignore this. Oh, no. He said he'll get to commentate it. I don't even get to commentate it, bro. I didn't think he was going to do that. Wait, no, we are. No. Wait, no. I thought that was going to be crazy. No. I thought he was going to get to I'm still tight, bros. No. Wait, you don't forget. Wait, you said he's still tight. Yeah, can I get a hair? Hey, How would you do with fellow Luane mains? You might be a little. Am I the Wayne main? Yes. I don't know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, that's that's a foreign language to me. But uh, <laughs> like yeah, bro. Uh, that's fact. Ain't nobody trying to go ban for ban for. Nigga, I'll go ban for ban with you right now. I got Nirvana I, and Coldplay. Which <laughs> I get it. Which I got Green Day and Fallout Boy. What's up? You ain't got no Backstreet Boys, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I got in sync with me on the hit, bro. Fuck you talking about? This is crazy. Yeah. I got boys to men. You feel me? I got BTS. I'm clearing all of you. That's BTS. crazy. BTS. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I got. I mean, NSYNC is right. I mean, I'll, I'll, I mean, I got NSYNC, but you want to go BTS? Actually, you know what? Probably BTS you're probably is right. Wiping? Are you kidding you're me? You probably BTS. Well, I, well it's hard. Assemble. It's hard to compare. It's hard to compare because you know the internet. They got. They got the. They got the fucking boost from the internet. Like it's. It, they got the buff. Right. Like it's hard. I, I still think, well, going back to these numbers, that, like, basically, <laughs> Mortal Kombat and Grand Blue basically swapped. It's, like, it's wild how hard that game has fallen off. It's, it's because people even. like Grand Blue. I don't think it's that game. wild. I turn I on the game. I, turn, yeah. I, I put a, I put a Mortal Kombat stream on. No, no, no. I'll turn that shit off in two MK's seconds. MK's <laughs> Evo entrance numbers have never been that good. Like, but people can... don't enter. People have never entered tournaments for those games. I, I feel like they get at least a thousand. They don't. I mean, we could just check. I, don't think I, could, so, just, no. I could just check. I could just check. I don't think MK has ever broken over a thousand. Really? No. Never. I mean, six six forty five is not a bad number on its own. Yeah, for a tournament. Yeah. It yeah. it is surprising though when you see just how popular that series is and like how consistently it sells. How consistently ass it is. I know that shit's crazy, right? I, I don't play it. I'm not. You look. You're not arguing with me. There's no world <laughs> okay, in which Rogers. I'm not trying to argue with you. Could you imagine a world in which there's Rogers no argument to be had? I should just ask. Yeah, it's not happening. Hey, Mortal Kombat 11 or Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate 449 in 2023. It's not even just. Uh, it's not even just Mortal Kombat for me. It's all the fucking. What are they? What's their company? Another realm. Another realm. Another realm. Yeah, I, I like agree. any of those fucking fighting games. They all so stiff they're so fucking. stiff. It's, I hate it's it. Exhausting. Stiff ass animations. Four sixty four in twenty twenty two from World Combat eleven base. Again, I'm I'm pretty sure this is the I highest think you're amount right. of. I think you're right. Wow. I think you're right. That's that's surprising. Uh, I guess I guess every other game literally blew up, and that one just didn't change. Is World Com no is well Mortal Kombat you. eleven, uh, in twenty twenty one. 714. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Yeah, because like not all these good, other games. Bad. That Homelander DLC is not helping, man. That's yeah, bro. Not gonna get saved by Homelander. The game is selling. They're making their money, but but yeah, it's, sure. people don't want to watch Just or enter. Good it, I, it, it's not a spectator game. I mean, all. to be fair, literally, it was. <laughs> I think we told this story on the show, but um, it was next to Grand Blue. At Combo Breaker, and we were all standing in a big group, and literally none of us were watching Mortal Kombat, and we were all watching, and it was like pools for Grand Blue or something, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think more importantly, are. Third Strike's got some numbers, bro. Absolutely, uh, yeah. I'm happy about that. That bro, that tournament's gonna be fucking sick. Hello, that tournament's gonna be dope, bro. You know what's not gonna be Just sick? Justin Wong. Justin Wong. What's not going to be sick is all the M Bison players stinking it up in the Street Fighter Six bracket. Right. I don't think is there's going to be that many Bison. Is he allowed for Evo? Yeah, and he's allowed. I believe so. Yeah. Then they released him. He wasn't allowed to see him. He came out the same week. That character's going to ruin that game. Bro. I don't know. I don't he's gonna, not. Yeah, bad. I don't think there's going to be that many Bison. I'm Bison is still Bison. Bison's, Bison's, Bison's definitely Bison a top Bison character. I just find him hella annoying right now. Yeah, but Bison's still like Bison's a character that's like. Like, I don't know, like, historically, it's not, Vice is not a character that, like, a very popular character that a lot of people play. Like, it's not, you know what I mean? I like, tend Bison's to like, disagree, because they d bothered to put him into the fucking game before any Street Fighter 3 characters. I mean, he's, he's been, that does, in, he's like a legacy character. What, that, what there's no that reason to put him in. They killed him off in, in the story 
And and they were like, hey man, we're gonna transition to like what a post. Fuck? What do you mean? Is there <laughs> okay, I, mean, well, I can go bison, into all of this. There's, there's no, no reason, reason to put bison in Street Fighter. That's what you're telling me. There's, the only thing, there's no reason to put him in if you want to appeal to Street Fighter Two fans. Who the but, fuck cares about well, that shit? I'm just trying to play some bison, bro. What the hell? Bison just it's yeah, just like a cool character. I don't care has, about where Bison ever has Bison ever not been in a mainline Street Fighter. Yes, it was not. He's yeah, not in Street Third Strike or all Street Fighter. Third Strike. Three. Oh, that's right. One that's and right. one He's and three. three. Oh yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, but Bison's gonna be in a Street real. Fighter game. But it's just, it's just one of yeah. those things where it's it like... Feel, I mean, he's kind of like the Bowser of the series. I mean, he's like yeah, the, he's you know... Bowser. He's the Ganondorf. He's the Bowser. He's the main but, bad But guy. competitively speaking, he's not a very popular character. He's just not. He like, is, he's a specialist character. In Spy, he was good. Yeah, he yeah, was. He was. In he this was. game, yes. he's incredible. Yes. But you but still, I don't think you're going to see a ton of bison. Character, right? Character I, I disagree. I think there's going to be a, a lot of bison. Bro, you can just look at look nah. at look at you can look at any top tournament, bro. There's not it's not running around with bisons in in 5 either. Like they're just not. Like this It's it's like Bison's problem a X. very unique. Problem is like the well, main he's, saying, he's saying that he's so good in this game that people will, will play him is what he's saying. Oh, it'll give him people more here. reason to play him. I'm not okay. even sure about that. that. Yeah, cuz I think in in Street Fighter 6, if you don't have a DP that is automatically tough. a big like tough. deterring factor. Like look at look at in the previous patch, for instance, you look at all of the characters that were among the best in the game. You had like Luke, Ken, JP, Chun Li, DJ. They all had reversals, and Bison does not have one of those. That's the only thing that's stopping him from being the best character. <laughs> it's it, that deep, bro. It, it, no it, it, I'm telling you, a lot you of people better than the think Google. this. Bro, his fucking um, his bicycle kick is like incredibly broken. Yeah, it's very good. It's not a it's not a charge. It's a motion, and it's like it's, it's emotion, safe if you space emotion, it. Yeah. Like it's it's really good. it's safe as, from as literally it's everything. Been. As it's always been. Yeah, but before oh, it's a charge, oh, not like and that. now it's a motion, so you could just yeah. you could get out. Bro, so that, don't, that don't even matter. It, for no, no, no. It, no, it matters a little bit. It doesn't matter a lot, but it does matter a little bit. It don't matter that much. And. It matters a little bit. The though. move was it's safe saying, regardless. All I'm saying is that there's going to be a bigger influx of Bison players at Evo. I bet there's not going to be I mean, one. I think, it's, right. sure. I think I it's too would, early for that. I think that people, not gonna, I people are not going to focus on, strictly on Bison. All right. I would we'll put see, money. I'm there's sure not we'll see a couple. I don't think we'll see that many, though. I'd put money on probably. And I guarantee we don't see that many go very far either. No, probably top eight Bison. Let's have I put. I would put. I mean, that's a different case. That's a different case entirely. Yeah, I, I or talk. Uh, yes, problem X. But like, I would bet, I would bet a steak dinner that there's not a bison in top that in top eight. Like, I bet problem it's X not a bison. Dinner. Uh, well, I, I think problem. I mean, if there was going to be one, it would be problem X. So I guess I'm saying he's not going to make top eight. But yeah, sure. But like, that would actually, I, you know, that would be the quickest that anyone would have to pay off a steak bet. I think in the history of the show, because why? if we're I'm all asked, like, well, why not? You know why? But you should come. No, you know why. But you should change, come because we're getting thing, sponsored. Change the thing I said why I'm not going, and I'll go. Oh, yeah. Okay, yo, change it? You want me to take back that I revealed to everybody that thing about you? No, no. What are you saying? No, no don't worry about it, man. I want you to come to Evo is what I'm saying. I understand that, but I told you why I'm not going. Yeah, but you're our friend. Okay. <laughs> so you should come with. Do you consider yourself our friend? Fidel's not going to be there. What does that have to do with anything? Because, like, you'll go if Fidel's not going. I don't give a fuck if he goes or not. If I want to go, oh. I'll go. That's good, because I lied, because Bitch. Fidel is going. Fidel's okay. going to be there. Mara's going to be there, too. So They're now you're a liar. Here. Look at uh -huh. you. <gasps> but I, mean, I said that earlier yeah, on stream. He say he's a liar. I said oh, I'm a big did. fat you liar. Know, I said true. that that's after true. the members only thing. How do I know that's not a lie? That's it's true. Maybe I am the most trustworthy person on Earth. Maybe. Maybe. You yeah. Maybe. I'm not. I don't think I am. I think Viram is, to be honest, if, if like by trustworthiness. Can we do a trustworthiness ranking? Uh oh, connection with the server was lost. What happened here? Uh oh. <laughs> Did we ever get the results for the like for the group like the scores that we the had? The stats, yeah. No, oh yeah, there. of yeah. course, yeah, of course, absolutely. Even for like for the, the the viewers. Yeah, oh, do people? we have? Do, do we? Yeah, yeah. Go on. ahead, do that because I, uh, I need to pull. Something you mean like the most viewed? I mean the most liked people or the? No, it was no, like just, when we had like you know the dexterity and yeah. the intelligence yeah, and those stats. This. Are you trying to come? What are you doing right now? <laughs> I'm, just I'm not doing anything. Okay, well while we have a moment, Roger, let's go ahead and do this new segment. Okay. Oh right. yeah, I forgot we are going to do this. Oh, yeah, we're going to do. Okay, let's go ahead and do this new segment. Okay, 
All wait, right, hold so, on. Wait, 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 wait. Before you start, what's the name of the segment? Um, um, we're, I, I, I'm, I fucked around with it a little bit, but but the base of the premise is Japan. Is, the premise is Japan time approved. Okay, so this was it's, this is very chat chat friendly. For those of you who are in the chat, here's how it's gonna work. I'm going to okay. present a hypothetical scenario to two specific Japan time members. They can ask me as many questions as they want, and they can you know, whatever. And they're going to tell me what they would do in this scenario. Now, your goal is not to tell me who you would agree with. You are trying to guess who the rest of the cast is going to agree with, which do we as a, as the rest of everybody. So let's say for example, it's Roger and Shofu. Who do you think uh -huh. the rest of us will agree with between the two of them? And we'll put a poll in chat. Okay. So All let right. me go ahead and set this up here. Now, these range, some of these are like kind of Nintendo related. Some of these are not. Also, I had this idea about two months ago and uh, shouts to NADPOD. They also started doing it, but it's fine. They're cool. So I, it's, it's different enough. Shouts to NADDPOD. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, would you like to start realistic or not? There, I have three. Let's start realistic. Okay, we'll go realistic and we'll go... Okay, so in this then we'll scenario... we'll go in order of, like, from most realistic to least sure. realistic scenario. Okay, yeah. so I've paired people off who are most likely to disagree. Zeph, are you here? Uh, he's he's Zeph, not here. I think he might be muted right now, but he'll probably be back. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all right, so we'll, we'll, skip, we'll skip that one right now. Uh, okay. We will go to... Uh, let's try... Uh, Coast is deafened. Uh, so let's try McDareth. And Shofu. Uh oh. All right. Okay. All right. You can ask any uh, any and all questions, any and all clarifying questions, and we'll put a poll in chat who chat thinks that we are going to agree with. Okay. All right. So here is the scenario. Scenario one. Okay. You and your best friend have established a tradition that every month you each buy five lottery tickets and make the agreement that if either of you win, you split the money evenly. You both have done this every single month for years. On this night in particular, your friend asks you to pick up the tickets for him as the store is out of his way, and they send you the money. Last year, you and your significant other of the last couple of years as well separated, but tonight your friend comes to you and tells you the same night and that they are now romantically involved. After a very <laughs> awkward conversation, <laughs> after okay. a very awkward conversation, they leave, and you, and you absentmindedly check, check the lottery tickets that you bought not knowing whose is whose. You check and you find out that one of these 10 tickets that you have are the winning lottery number. What do you do? Fuck that nigga. What the <laughs> fuck? He can eat 10 different kinds of dicks. <laughs> so I would, personally, I would have made sure I knew whose money was whose and if he won, I would give it to him. You fucking crazy as hell. <laughs> I picked correctly. I that picked nigga correctly. Can <laughs> can swallow all types of semen, bro. Oh my god! Because like, insane. okay, so because here's okay, here's the thing for me, right? Uh huh. You may ask any questions or clarifying right. questions. So, Shofu doesn't need any. It seems best friend. So is it our definition uh -huh. of best friend? Whatever a best friend would be to you. Okay, so that's... they are not family. They are not. Yeah, family. not family. But for me, a best friend is someone I've known. Well, my best friends I've known since like kindergarten. So no, I would I would give it. Sure, to it is a very close. It is a very close friend who you trust. Yes. Then yes, I would. I probably wouldn't be upset they got together. It'd probably be far enough away, and I would give it give him the lottery ticket if it was if I knew that his money went to buy that one. I'd give it to him. <laughs> I don't know how to put a poll in chat. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you do slash poll. Right? Yeah, slash poll. Okay, hold on. Slash poll. Okay, here we go. He wouldn't even know that I won. There'd be signs. Yeah, be signs. I was saying, I'm yeah. keeping the money. But and that's it. Yeah, also, okay. even, oh, even no, if this no, is a no, family no, no, Roger, thing. Don't, don't tell us what you think. Don't tell I know, us what I know, but, but even point. on the topic, but like, because even if it was a family thing, unless you are like my parents or grandparents, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. Okay. The but we have two perspectives. You could be a cousin that I really love. I understand understand that like this is just this is a me thing, but I wouldn't know. And it would bother me. So that's why I would I would be honest about it. <laughs> I'd be sleeping real well on the new uh the new pillows that I buy with that money. Who do you chat? Now you are voting mattress. who you you are that's voting right. who you think California the rest King. of us will agree with. That's who okay, you're so, okay, I got you. I got yes. You. you are not voting who you agree with. You are voting who you think we will agree with. 
This one's fairly easy. I think all of us, I think, I mean, I agree with Chauvin. Fuck that guy. I'm keeping the money. Roger, fuck that guy. He's keeping yeah, the I, money. I'm 100% keeping the money. Mc, definitely. Uh, yeah. Bureau? Yeah, no, I'd keep the money as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the real? Yeah, uh, he could have dated anyone, but he chose, like, you know, my ex <laughs> <could've> dated <laughs> anyone? That's right. <laughs> I'm taking the money. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Zender, we will we will open these up. This isn't going to be a regular thing, but this but this okay. So now these are going to get more and more ridiculous. Now because Zeph and Kos were not here, uh, Shofu, you're going to have to go twice <laughs> because this one is specifically for you and Roger. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So you are on the. Are you got, okay? You guys are ready. So now we're debating between or not debating Roger and Shofu. Okay. Uh huh. Scenario one or scenario two. Excuse me. You are on the tail end of a very romantic date with the love of your life, uh -huh. enjoying a romantic evening dinner. After okay. a wonderful meal, your partner tells you that they are going to stop by their family's house and will be home later that evening. After okay. dropping them off, you return home, settle in for the evening, and enjoy your night. In the middle of the night, you hear a commotion in the kitchen, and you go to check it out. Waiting for you is the real Lola Bunny in full tune squad attire. Fuck, she winks what? at you and steps into the fridge that is beaming with light and an ambient golden light, golden glow. You know with 100% certainty that your partner will be home within the hour. What do you do? What do I do? I mean, what obviously do do? it's a cartoon. You can't do anything with a bunny. So like as much as we joke about it, at the end of the day, it's still, no. Like, this is a this is a who framed Roger Rabbit scenario, by the way. But then give me Jessica Rabbit. Don't give me Lola Bunny. Give me a human. They're both cartoons. Yeah, but the difference is Jessica Rabbit is a cartoon with human parts. It's it's one's a bunny. You can't be doing that. She does she does go into the refrigerator that seems to be a portal somewhere though. I what? So then I could go get turned into Bugs Bunny. I don't want I that don't, either. I don't know. I don't want that. The answer is no. I'm not doing anything. I'll say, no, you know what I would say? This is honestly what I would do. I would say, first off, this is crazy. I want to make sure that I'm not drugged out or hallucinating <laughs> and there wasn't something in my food. I would get my camera and I would film and I'd say, hey, Lola, could we record a video real quick? And I would upload that to, to YouTube and it would get millions of views and people would be like, wow, the animation quality on this is incredible. And that's what I would do. So you do go. No, I mean, if she's in my kitchen... No, 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 no. I would say, no, no, no. I would say in your one kitchen second, for a I would grab my camera... No, by and the time I would you say, do that, she's gone. Well, she, then. she literally sees you, she opens up the fridge, which is glowing like a fucking Narnia door, and she, when she crawls into and through the fridge. As See, if I would be concerned. I would, I would probably contact Reagan and be like, what did you put in my food at dinner? <laughs> is what I would do, because that would concern me. <laughs> if, if there were actual real cartoon characters in real life popping up and I don't have time to grab my camera. What, what I have my phone on me at all times. I can't pull my phone out. She you can. disappears if I, Oh, well then I'll do that then. You're I'll not gonna get, like, you, you might you might get her and be entering. Like, you might get her entering the, the 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 fridge. That's enough. That's what okay. do you mean? That's that's a million view video right there. Like that's all I need. That's fine. Shofu? So what? Uh, I mean, I know where Shofu's going to go. I know where this. Shofu's going. Yeah, that's... I'm a rabbit fucking... <laughs> 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 and that was going. <laughs> nah, well, well, ch well, chat, let's go. <clears throat> Who does Japan time endorse? <laughs> oh, God. There you go. There it is. I think most people are probably Team Shofu. I, I, yeah. I would imagine. We have yeah, a lot of agree. weird Lola Bunny fans who watch our show. Yes, I agree. What do you mean we have a lot of weird fans? You've cultivated this over the years. Like, what? Me? We, as a show, have cultivated this. Not me. Mm hmm What do you mean, mm hmm Why are you saying it like that? Uh -huh. All right. No. The last, the last right. one. The see, last but one. that's not even, see, because that's not even what I, I just knew the right answer. You feel Correct. me? Correct. Like? <laughs> Correct. Correct. That's fine. That's fine. This is hypothetical. It's not really going to happen, obviously. But you said the right answer. You win. Like I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah boy. Um. All right. This is the last. This is the last one. Uh. Because Coast is muted, so we're going to use Virum and McDareth here. Okay. You are at your local card shop where a 16-year-old kid named Liam has been wrecking people for months. 
He wears what you assume to be an accurate replica of Yugi Moto's Millennium Puzzle around his neck. Okay? He hasn't lost a game of any kind. Video, board game, trading card, even games of chance like flipping a coin. He has yet to lose and hasn't come close. On this day, after he's everyone old. has already left, all right. After he's this day, <laughs> yeah, he's 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 he has no, not. It's, it's, him, he's but... been body. He's been catching bodies all over the place. On this day, after everyone has already left, he challenges you to a simple game of rock paper scissors, which you begrudgingly accept. But you beat him. Once you do, his Millennium Puzzle glows, and the Earth immediately shatters underneath him like glass. And Liam falls into a bottomless pit of eternal darkness, nice. leaving nothing but the puzzle and chain behind. You immediately realize that this is likely the real Millennium Puzzle, and if you wear this, you will become the king of games. What do you do? That shit is mean, cursed. I'm taking. I'm not touching that shit with a ten foot <laughs> pole. Uh, It's a bloody puzzle. Though, bro. Your face? <laughs> like I can, like no, it, it kind of is. I'm not gonna wear it. I put that thing in a glass container and keep it. It's a bloody puzzle. I would just leave it there. I don't even want to keep it. I, I'm gonna chuck that shit down the hole. Like if it was some other cursed object, yeah, I just leave it. It's a bloody puzzle. I kind of, I want that. Keep in mind, you 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 immediately realize that he this 16 year old kid just had very little. This is. Basically, any you basically get plot armor when it comes to games and contests. Oh yeah, I'm not putting the thing on. Of, of any kind. <laughs> if if you, losing if means lose, instant death, now I'm not putting it on. Yeah, why would you do that? Yeah, I I would keep it because it's you a don't know puzzle. Dead. He fell into a pit of infinite darkness. I what else do I supposed yeah, to? Yeah, well, I'm just saying you don't you don't know you don't see. Well, how long been running shit for? He's been running shit for a brick. How long like, though? Like he's been playing, he's been showing up there every day after school, catching catching 30, 40 bodies a day. But how everything. long though? At least at least a year and a half. Oh bro, a year and a half round? I gotta put that shit on, bro. <laughs> a year and a half of being maybe him? Should, maybe I should have asked over. Maybe about, about, <laughs> yeah, a year and a half of being him, the guy? Bro, bro, oh my God, bro, do that, has, bro. the thing is, it's not even being the guy, he's been catching bodies. Like it's That's not what I'm saying, close. bro. You're a, you you're you're a legend. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to Evo CEO. I'm going to goddamn. Yeah, but uh, you lose uh, once, you get banished to the Shadow Realm. Like, I just, bro, I have a year and a half streak of nothing but. I want to live you. more than a year. That's what I'm bro, talking. Bro. I want more than one more year. Bro, I'm That's him, what I'm bro. talking Nobody, about. Bro, I'm him. Fucking random dice game. Oh, oh Liam, I'm talking oh, right now. I'll take that year, to the like, park. Does that matter? Go free, bro. I'll go crazy on a basketball court. With the rules, with the rules of the Millennium Puzzle, can you take it off at any time? Or once you have it, you're that's you. It. You can take it off at any time, but it's but the abilities obviously only work while you have it on. But I mean, like, say for example, you have it. You're mm -hmm. good for like a year. You're sure. the king of games. You make a lot of money. Whatever. You can take and it then, off and never wear it again. Sure. Yeah. Oh, and you can. And you would. But like, if you it give is, it to somebody else, it, the imp it, the implication here is that it is extremely unlikely that you will lose at any contest or that's any game. What I'm saying, bro. like, it is extremely unlikely. Imagine and, just pulling up. Yeah, but you I know, me. The, I pull up to the to the hot dog eating competition. And, <laughs> and for me, to the unknown, unknown name, the unknown the name, glizzy, I take the dub, the glizzy gobbler. <laughs> What if I smoke Joey Chestnut off just because I felt like you? <laughs> bro, I'm him, bro. Bro. What? They gonna bro. be like, who is this glizzy gladiator bro. gobbler? Bro, you bro, you pull up to Evo third strike, you beat the shit out of Daigo and Justin Wong. Free! Bro, I'm him. Free! Bro, I'm doing anything that I can enter. Free. I'm, I'm, who cares if I die? I'm him. Oh, you I'll beat Justin Wong. <laughs> you the 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 legend. You so you're soloing Faker in the mid lane by bro, yourself. I'm no help, in, bro. No like, help, what? bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. No help, bro. Tokido got nothing, bro. On I'm you, I'm literally bro. putting that shit on immediately. <laughs> yeah, I, I worry too much about the the bro, you're one percent chance the that I will lose. How tall you are? And just yeah, die. and then you would die. I mean, that's kind of scary. Like I would do it in a no, situation no, you don't where know I that would win something, bro. It's a millennium puzzle. You're getting look, sent look, to the shadow. I'm telling you, you basically. I'm telling you. I'm not saying that he's dead. I'm telling you, you don't know if he's dead. That's all I'm saying. But, but, it, the way but, the, I, but the, I know that it's a Millennium Puzzle, right? Works, I understand right? the Millennium Puzzle. So can't if, you just play games that aren't games of chance? Like, can't you just play Smash or something? Or play, like, play turn items off or whatever? 
Right. Oh, you would yeah. just say like guilty gear or whatever. He's the king of games. As in like yes, any but game. But the point is again, if you ever lose, <laughs> like it doesn't matter but what why, game you're isn't playing. Isn't the whole thing that you don't lose? Isn't that the whole the whole thing? Thing it, it about is, it. Is so the only, okay. is like the only way the only way you would lose is if it's something like rock paper scissors, in which it's a situation where it's like a one in three chance or something, or like you're you know at the casino. A, I mean, you can't make that inference. It's just happened. It, but I also mentioned I, early, okay. I also no, but I also mentioned that earlier he was winning things like flipping coin. So hmm, so it alters like probability. So, bro, so, give me the fucking necklace, so, bro. so what I'm saying is that no matter the <laughs> contest, no matter the contest, game of chance or game of skill, it is incredibly unlikely that he loses. Give me that bro, shit. Nice. Bro, I'm, still putting, lost. I'm putting yeah, that shit Yugi on. I'm taking my life savings <laughs> out of my bank account. I'm going to the I'm going to the casino. I'm going, I'm going, I'm playing blackjack. I'm playing poker. I'm really about to rack up, bro. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? If you do blackjack and poker, then you could lose. No, 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 no. Okay. If you would like to, the, 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 because I mentioned, yes, you did lose. He did beat, you did beat Liam in a game of rock, paper, scissors. But before that, Liam was smoking people in a game of flipping the coin. So whether it's a game of chance or a game of skill, you're not necessarily can you, sure. Can you Bro. wear the Millennium Puzzle? Uh huh. Uh, go on like the roulette or something. And then as you see things slowing down, if they're not making, like, if they're not going the direction that you think is going to have you win, you can, try you can just it. take the thing off. You can try like, it. You might not work, but you can try it. And then, you know, mm. whatever happens, happens. Nah, give me that I don't shit. know, man. I, I, I think, yeah, I think. I bro, nobody can whoop me now either. Oh, my <laughs> God, bro. bro give, me the, the, give, me the, the the, give me that shit, Ace. Nobody can fuck with me. Give me Khabib right now. I'm Goku now. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, bro. Nobody can fucking bro. Nobody can fuck with me, bro. I'm never losing a fight. Give me that. I just want to know, Chad. Do you uh, do, uh, do you take do you take the Millennium Puzzle? I just I take it. I think I take shit. it. I think I take it and I go to Vegas immediately. I would take it as a keepsake. I would not wear it. I would wear no, this immediately, bro. No one would ever mess with me. I wear this shit immediately, and I and I enter the World Series of Poker, and I say, "This is me." And I'm half a, I'm drunk the whole time. Actually, I could get killed if somebody wants to steal. Yeah, I just leave it. Take a picture. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And I'm dunking on LeBron. And Bronny. <laughs> That's right. Bronny and LeBron are on the same team now. I'm dunking on both of them. Dunking on both James. So, so the games, like, go off to sports as well. So you could be like. You're the king of everything Coast, you that care is about this conversation? a game. Would you like Hell me to... no. What okay. the fuck? I, I, bro, <laughs> I'm asking, bro. Relax. What you have one for Coast while he's here? No. Why? Because he said he doesn't give a fuck. All right, well. Does it also let you win, like, just like a like If you get in a fight on the street, does it, it just give you power to win that, too? That's what I'm saying. Like, a fist fight? Like, does that count as a game? Can you sure. win or lose Can a I fight? I just beat someone up. <laughs> Can you win or lose a fight? You, no, but, you what I'm, tits, you no, tell me. but what I'm what I'm saying is like, say I go to a bar or something, right? And there's like uh -huh. this big burly dude who's like the scariest dude in the whole bar, and sure. he's being he's being mean to this one guy who just wants to drink his apple teeny, and the guy's like. He's being so mean, and he's like, "You weenie, you're you're not a real man." All this other stuff. I could just walk up to him and like flick him on the nose, and he'll die if I have the Millennium Puzzle. I mean, you don't have super strength, but because that'd be awesome, I'd be totally you don't have to super do that. strength. But like, if you get in a fight, what's likely to happen is that he goes to punch you, and then he trips and, and falls, then he like and trips then... and falls on a knife yes. or something. Yes, yeah. you have plot. He armor. falls on a knife ten times. You'd have to settle it like Yugi. <laughs> what? He's, bull he's bullying that person. You challenge him to a random card game, and then you know. Uh, loser dies, like Yuki. There you go. So you I mean, can bet people, Millennium the people Puzzle that, on it. When you're wearing the Millennium Puzzle, people that you're fighting don't die; they're just losing. But like, could they? Like, if I give the Millennium Puzzle to someone, could I? Would it kill them? Like, say for example, like I know that I'm going to win at Smash Brothers if I play banjo against some drunk dude who's never played a video game in his life. If I give him the Millennium Puzzle. And I'm confident that I'm going to win. You will lose. Oh, I you will. You are very lose. likely to lose. Oh, oh, then never mind. Because then I'm like, I could just bro, give the guy the puzzle bro, and he'll just take himself armor. out. You're just giving people plot armor. That's yeah, not worth it. I'm dunking on LeBron. 
You probably are, to be fair, if you got the Millennium Puzzle. That's what I'm saying. Not in multiverses, though. That game's not at Evo at all. Yeah, that game sucks. Uh, they might have a site of it. It's pretty again, good, I think. I'd imagine. Potentially. What's happening with that game? Uh, it's getting updates. I think Agent Smith comes out soon. I haven't been paying that much attention. But uh, they're doing their, their like single player stuff they've been putting out. Trailers for that have been okay. A little take advantage of all the IPs they have to have crossover and stuff. Uh, no word about Ruby or whatever else is coming. And uh, yeah, it's it's there. That's not that interesting, but it's there. And it's still amazing to me that the game just like died so quick. It's well, amazing to you. I could have told you yeah, fucking ten yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta remember though, it, it, <laughs> this is unlike a lot of stuff. This is not a first impression. A lot of people are just checking it out to be like, "Oh, what's this like?" And now it's up to them to keep people interested because they already yeah, had no. a first impression. My first, the second, my second impression is worse than the first impression. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah I could have kept that bullshit the entire fucking time. Holy fuck! No, I like the, I like the, I, I had fun the first time. The so did I. I had like I didn't think it was a good game or nothing, but I had fun the first time for sure. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have fun or think it was good this time. Turn yeah, that shit off. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you, can, you can negate the whole thing. I feel like a lot of people feel that exact same way. I don't know how they could feel otherwise. <laughs> I mean, I, I just, all right, I buddy. was just so right, like all the time, like every time, like all the time about everything. Like it's crazy, like. Ass. Everything is ass, bro. If you're right about everything, then why would you need the Millennium Puzzle? Because then you could just like bet on the thing at Vegas without me the being Millennium right. Puzzle does not mean win. that I will win a contest of strength. But if you're right, or intelligence, what do you mean? Well, you certainly aren't winning a contest of intelligence. I'll tell you that much. Okay, so let's have one then. All right. What do you want to talk about? It's not literally plus 10. anything. STEM? Let's do some, okay. What STEM topic would you like to have an intellectual <laughs> conversation about? I said what's hey, nine plus ten. Man, I already oh, wanted to nine million. plus ten. No, oh, who's nice one million. point? Roger zero. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, what? <laughs> Nineteen. What do you mean? You're done. Nineteen. Yeah, show for two points. Nine plus answer, ten is nineteen. It's twenty-one, bro. All right. Shofu, nine plus. I'll, what I'll is happening lead. here? Oh my 21. god. Nine plus ten. All right, all right, all right, all right. Roger. English is Spanish. It's a meme. I don't understand. <laughs> That's evident. <laughs> Yo, you, you, I'm up 4 0 right now, bro. <laughs> At least <laughs> he's already dead. Leave him alone. <laughs> I'm old. That's true. You're not even <laughs> old. That's I old am. I'm 34, man. I'm old. Damn. Damn. It's, so, it's so funny. Like, okay. This is not at you. Maybe right? you got and something you on your nose. Way. But, like, it's so funny when you're playing a game. Maybe you're in a stack of friends you're playing. You're playing against some people, and their insult is, man, I, I work a 9 to 5. I can't be on this game all day like you guys. It's like, all of us work jobs, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? That's not an excuse. Yes, I didn't is. hear what you said. My job is doing YouTube. So what is the job you're talking about? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so for you, especially, you have all the time. Not all the time in the world. But you have a lot of time where you, if you want to get good at something, you could. You just don't want to, which is fair. But it would have to be content. I would have to make a content. No one wants to watch me get good at Guilty Gear. Nobody cares. Okay, that, like I said, you don't want to, so you don't have to. That's okay. People want to know my theories on One Piece, and they want to see me play Nintendo games. Oh, they and, did and just start production Final Fantasy two. badly. And there People nothing, don't even want to watch me learn Final Fantasy. People like me playing Final Fantasy casually. Yes. They enjoy that. There's nothing wrong with that. I know. I'm, I'm just, not saying there is anything. I'm just the type that. where I care a lot about trying to optimize stuff. So oh, I that's it, the problem. You something. care too much. Yes, yeah, you sweat. shouldn't care that yes. much. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. No, that's just me. If I'm interested world, in something, I care is, a lot. You shouldn't is so funny. <laughs> well, no, because there's the world is beautiful, and if you just focus on well, the world one is thing, very beautiful. But this, I'm not only focused on one thing though. It's just when I'm interested in something, I care. That doesn't mean I'm only focused on that cool. one thing. But, you know, shit but, but, so funny. but I can't like a good care. example is like like I care deeply about One Piece, right? Mm. But it gets to a point where sometimes I have conversations with people and they just care a little too much. And when you get to that point, you go, "Okay, my guy," and then you just don't want to talk. Yeah, but to this, them but this is the you don't things. ever want to be that guy. No, but I'm never that Karen guy because I don't because I don't go out and just talk to random. I'm not never out here trying guy. to get into a Sonic, community. Random Sonic. people. 
What? Never that guy? No, you're talking about Sonic. something. You're, hold on. You were talking about someone who's in the One Piece community. It's up to you to talk about One Piece from a community angle. What do you talk about it that way? I don't do that. I'm not even in the Sonic community. I like you're the not in the I Sonic like. community. What do you mean you're not in the Sonic community? I'm not. We're all in this. Everything is canon in Sonic. We're all Bro, in the Sonic. You community. don't understand Wait, how we are. I'm not part of. You have to understand. I'm not part of this. Not this is going please back to our discussion of something else. When I asked you about like hell of a boss, and you're like, no, the community makes it kind of weird for me to watch that. And to me, that doesn't oh, no, cross was, my no, mind. No, no. Because, it was because they swore too much. I don't know. Like but you swearing. also you also mentioned that you see the people in the community, you feel like they give you a bad vibes. So you're not that interested. Oh, that's true. They are weird. That's but, true. But that to me, true. that doesn't yeah. cross my mind because I don't I don't look at things and think about the community. I just look at the thing to enjoy the thing. So like when that's you're, good. So you that's were good. you were equating it to like a, a one piece stand basically, and that's never me because I'm not I'm not that guy who's gonna no, go I don't, talk no, to like no, no, oh, no. these are my favorite well, one piece I content like creators. Like you. that's not me. No, of course. No, I know. I, I enjoy I enjoy hanging out with you sometimes, you know. Okay, so it's that's, like that's not what I'm saying, also. <laughs> that's fucked that? up. But that's not <laughs> what I'm <laughs> saying. That's not <laughs> what I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> why did he do that? I was just being I was why, being why was he honest? I got you. That's my friend. A Freudian slip, but okay. <laughs> that's no, no, no. Uh, no, that's my friend right there. But um, what I'm saying Why'd is, your voice crack? How is that a how is it a Freudian slip to say you're my friend? Mm. How is now that's messed up. That's okay. how that's I don't even know what what you're saying that we're, we're not actually. Oh, okay, never mind. nothing. That's crazy. You're trying to double the back on me when you started. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah. Wait, hey, what did I do? I uh, I just if I'm very much interested in something like this podcast, I care way too much about this. But oh, that's true. I'm, you definitely I'm care interested. way too much about this. Once I've been interested and involved in something, I can't help but care. That's just who I am. That's why I keep myself pretty much at arm's reach from most things, so I don't have to end up caring about stuff that I shouldn't. That's honestly, that's maybe a good way to live. Keep everything at arm's length. That's actually smart. That's how you die alone. Indeed. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Indeed. Um. You're not gonna. What are you? You telling me Derek is gonna die alone? That's not. Cool. I didn't say no, didn't that Derek, you're gonna die alone. You said that indeed. Time. He said you said indeed. Best thing. That's not cool, man. That's not Bro. cool. No, I, I, got, I got, I got you. I, I didn't say I, that's I, not I what I said. I understand where you were coming from. That's I'm a five zero. I didn't. I'm I didn't five understand it all. Crazy. <laughs> He's just saying as advice that you shouldn't only do that your entire life, and I get that. It's not right, the best yeah, thing, yeah. but it's just. The habit of where I am. That's how I am. McGareth what? optimizes the amount of toilet paper he has to use after your shit. Did we use a 1.3 squares? Yeah, yeah exactly. Two and fold. Yeah, he wastes time on this podcast talking about Sonic all fucking like, That's not understand. a waste of time to me. That's, that's lovely. That's, 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 time. Content. that's some oh, of my yeah, favorite time like, of my not, life. Right. Right. My icon is still <laughs> Tails. Because you know what? Make it make sense. That's the namesake. Not really. That's the namesake. So uh, make it make All good. Well, that sounds like that's a great place to end the show. Holy shit. That was a <laughs> long final conversation. Yeah. But that was a lot of fun. Thank you all for sticking around. Live in the chat said, finally, it's over. Well, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to say what I said. We're on Shofu's channel. Never mind. What I'm catching foot? myself, Shofu. <laughs> I was going to Never mind. I'm what? not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. What could you have possibly said? Because, <laughs> like, finally, like, what else is finite? Life is finite, so like when you say finally, if if life ends, uh, no, we you know, know, we know, okay. you know where I'm going with that. Is, is, is you're bringing it back to the really? intro like, that you sent me. Like, oh yeah, you didn't even. If you're, if, oh yeah, if we you gotta think about it. Yeah, it's, it's, use that it's, one it's, yet. If the one to, with you, the one with you and Fidel. Me and Fidel. Yeah, that no, that was today. We used it. Oh, we used it today. Yes. Oh well, that makes that's a perfect way to end the show. Then that's great. Yeah, nice. What the fuck is happening? Okay, everybody, oh, thanks for watching man. Japan Time. You know, uh, check out spitspace.com slash Japan Time. That's uh, right, Spitspace merch is, is back. There. Yeah, the website's right. back up. Uh, stuff should be sent pretty soon. Like, if you didn't get a bundle, everything's going out now. If you got a bundle, uh, we're waiting on the cards to be printed. It should be done within a week, I think, a week or two, hopefully. And then that's all going to get sent out. So, uh, yeah, subscribe to the YouTube. You can all subscribe to the Spotify feed. Uh, you'll notice on Spotify and YouTube, thanks to Vanilla Salt keeping track of things, uh, we actually have everything for episodes instead of dates are actually numbered. 
This is number like right. 180, I think. I'll double check. That. That's right. Yep. But yeah, cool things. Woo! So, uh, you know, awesome. support the show. We appreciate you. And become a member so you could get access to the next spoiler cast. Bye, everybody. <laughs>